Hey you guys, my name is Amanda. I am from Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I actually met Mr. Larson. He was my choir and show choir director while I was in high school in 2003 to 2007. So that was a while ago. Um, since then, I have taken up quite the passion in makeup, hence why Mr. Larson asked me to do a makeup look for you guys, specifically for the stage. Now, I am still performing and doing what I love to do, but I adore makeup and beauty, so I was so happy to do this for him, and I really hope you guys love this look as much as I do. It is super easy to achieve. Um, it may take a little practice, but you know, what doesn't? And this is great for all types of shows, uh, whether you have bright lights or daytime, it's just super appropriate and universal for all of those settings. There are two products that I do want you guys to get because it will make this eye look so much easier to achieve. First thing is the CoverGirl Go For Gold's Quad Palette, and this is at Target, I'm pretty sure, and it's all these gold eyeshadow tones as well as the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Little Duo. One side is like an eyeshadow and the other side is a glitter and the glitter goes underneath your eyes and it is so, so great for the stage. It just makes your eyes really pop and it gives that little something extra. So getting started, I have my CoverGirl palette all ready to go. My eyes already have concealer on them to create a base. And then I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow primer and this is going to keep your eyeshadow in place all day long. Very first color we're going to use on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to put this all over the lid area just like so. Literally from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. Next color we're going to use is this goldish color in the palette, and I'm going to use it on more of a dome brush, and this is going just above your crease. And this is what we're going to use as our transition shade. You can make this as dark or as light as you want, um, but the main purpose of it is to transition your lighter shades to your darker shades, and you'll find out in just a little bit how that works. Then I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush, really blend all that out. I like a seamless blend from light to dark. Then we're going in with the very last color in this palette, and a crease brush like so, and I'm going to place this just in the crease. You don't want to get too much eyeshadow on that brush at the start of it because you can go in and deepen that color as you go along. So you want to start out with just a little bit of product and then kind of work your way up getting darker and darker just in the crease. Then I'm going to go back in with that dome brush that I added with the gold transition color and just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. As you see, I'm going to add more product, make it darker, deepen that crease so that it really adds some dimension. Once again, going with the dome brush, blending all of that out so it is a seamless blend from light to dark color. I'm going to take a flatter type brush and I'm going to go in with that very first color we started with as we put all over our lids and I'm going to go back over the lid and really make that color very, very opaque and very vibrant on the lid so then when we add liner, it's going to be a very dramatic type look. And this is what you should end up with as far as the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner and at first I'm just going to line the lash line getting as close to my lashes as possible with this. Now this takes practice to really get a perfect type line. So I don't want you girls to feel like, no way am I going to make this look like that. Of course not, because it's going to be either your first time or your fifth time, or maybe you've done this before, but please don't get discouraged. This is totally achievable if you just practice. And then I'm going to start building up the wing of this because we are making a wing liner and connecting it with the lash line.
So when you're all done, it should look a little something like this. Doesn't have to be exactly like this, or if you wanna make a smaller wing, or if you just wanna line your lashes, that's okay too. Then we're gonna go in with this Revlon Duo Photo Ready product, and one side is eyeshadow and the other side is glitter. So first I'm gonna start with the gold and I'm just gonna go on the lower lash line and apply this. And it turns to eyeshadow very quickly and you're gonna to wanna to use your finger to kind of dab and rub this in very gently. And then we're gonna go underneath with the glitter as well. This takes a little bit of more patience as well. You wanna dab that and you don't wanna to get too much down there because it can just get really, really messy. So not too much product because it is very glittery, but it is just that something extra that makes every single eye look just pop. Gonna curl our lashes. We are gonna go in with fake lashes, so when you add mascara, you don't wanna add a whole lot. But do make sure that you put mascara on the bottom lashes to break apart that glitter because if you just have glitter down there, it's gonna look kinda funky. Then I'm gonna go in with my favorite lashes and it's these here, it's called Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. I get these at Walmart and they're fantastic. So now that we have our eyes done, I wanna quickly talk about your face and how you should get your face done for stage makeup versus everyday life makeup, if that makes sense. Cause obviously your eyes are gonna be a little bit more intense and darker than uh, normal daytime. But also on the stage, you wanna make sure that those bright lights aren't just completely washing you out and you don't wanna just like put a whole bunch of blush on your face cause then you're just gonna look crazy. So I'm going to show you guys what you should do for contouring or kind of carving out the natural curves of your face because you don't want to look washed out when you're on stage in those really bright lights. So I'm just using um, the bronzer that goes along with my face. This isn't that dark really. So make sure that you get a bronzer that's not too dark. A, if you're really, really pale, you want to stay on the lighter side, of course. So I'm going to use this brush right here. It's an angled brush flat. Where you're going to put this is in the hollows of your cheek. And how you figure that out is you can take a longer um, brush handle like this from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. The hollows of my cheeks are not that prominent, so uh, this is something that I've just you know, gotten used to doing and finding on my own. So that line right there should be the hollow of your cheek, and it kind of left like a little indentation. What I do is I go like this. I make this stupid face so that my little cheekbones stick out. Does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. So I just stick that out and then I, I contour exactly where that goes. So I'm gonna stick the bottom edge of this and I'm gonna show you where the bottom of this contour is gonna go. So you see that little bitty line? You're gonna go to about the middle of your cheek. And brush it in just like that. Don't go too far down because then it'll end up looking unnatural and you want this contour line to look as natural as possible. Because all you're trying, all you're really doing is shading the parts on your face that would be your natural cheekbone, um, also along the sides of your forehead. I can't contour and talk at the same time because that's hard. And you obviously don't want these lines to be super harsh and like, oh, line. You want to make sure this, this is blended as much as possible. So I have my cheeks on right now. So I'm gonna go along the um, hairline of my forehead as well to show that it's rounded, it's not just flat. And yes, I get it in my hairline all the time because I'm blonde, that's just the nature of the beast. So sorry blondies, it's gonna happen, but you don't put a lot of product on, it really won't show that much in your hairline. But it will mess your hair up, so don't have your hair done before this. <laughs> Another place that I like to put a little bit of this bronzer is right on the sides, insides of my nose, so that it shows that I have one. So I'm gonna take an itty bitty brush, angled as well, and just put it on the inside and dab it in there. I don't need a whole lot because, you know, I don't wanna make it look like a Pinocchio nose or nothing. That's not cute. So just a little bit on that inside of the nose and you can do it along the sides as well so that your nose also is sculpted. A little trick for those of you that have little lips like me, I put, why do I always try and talk and explain at the same time? You're gonna put a tiny bit under your bottom Excuse me, I can't stop burping. This is a terrible video. I'm really, really sorry, but I hope you find it funny. Put a little bit of bronzer underneath your bottom lip. So stick it out, and then put a little underneath right there. 
so then it makes that lip look fuller and then it makes it look like it has a shadow right there. So now you guys can see the difference between non-bronzed face and a contoured face. So these are just the contours right now. I'm going to use this eyeshadow here. This is a very pale, shiny, shimmery color and I know you can find it in about every single palette. Cl similar to a palette like this, usually the first color is a very pale color and that's usually called the base. I'm going to use this to highlight and where you use your highlight is where light would naturally hit your face so the tops of your cheekbones along your nose a little bit on your head and right on your cupid's bow this part right here of your lip so I'm just gonna stick my finger in it a little bit put it on the tops of my cheeks I don't really like to emphasize my nose that much but you know just to show a little shimmer just on my forehead a little bit because I don't want to look oily and also on my cupid's bow so when I do my lipstick it's gonna be like boom okay so now you guys can see it's like a little bit of a glow it's pretty it's dewy it's glamorous so for my show blush I usually like to stay in the natural colors and what I mean by that is if you were to pinch your cheeks the natural color that would arise on your cheeks so for me that would be around this area of colors so I'm gonna take a real big fluffy brush like this dab it in and you're gonna put it in that space that's between your bronzer and highlighter you're not gonna put a whole bunch you just need to keep it on the apples see I have to put my face like this so that the apples on my cheek show and go back and forth just dust it back and forth you can obviously go as heavy as you need or as light as you need depending on your skin tone if you just have a bunch of blush on your face without this this bronzer contour and the highlight it's just gonna look really overwhelming and unnatural and you want to look as fabulous as you possibly can singing your little heart out and that's it girls that's all I have for you I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow if you have any questions or if you're getting frustrated or if you just don't understand something please do not hesitate to ask me I am always available to you guys Facebook Instagram Twitter or my email that is all available to you guys mr. Larson will have that for you please do not hesitate to contact me I want to make sure that you guys are dazzling on that stage break a leg have a wonderful year i hope you guys do great i can't wait to hear how well you guys do i'm sure you're gonna do fabulous i'll talk to you guys really soon bye